question one is says using a calculator or otherwise evaluate each of the following giving your answers to two decimal places so what we do is we know order of operations we always do bracket of multiplications division addition and then subtraction so what we see is that there is a multiplication and a subtraction sign here so what we know is that we will work out the multiplication aspect first so what we'll have is 73.18 minus and when we do 5.23 multiply by 9.34 what you will get is 48.85 and now we can go ahead and do our subtraction which is 73.18 minus 48.15 and when you do that what you'll get is 24.33 three and that is simple and that is our first mark for question part two in question one it says 3.1 square divided by 6.17 plus 1.12 still using order of operations in this case what we're going to do is to first work out the square aspect so we are going to we are going to do the 3.1 square so what we have is 3.1 square and that will give us 9.61 and then that is divided by the still 6.17 plus 1.12 yes that is correct the final answer is 2.68 so therefore what we do next is to say 9.61 divided by 6.17 and what you'll get is 1.56 and we put back our plus 1.12 and now we add the 1.56 plus the 1.12 and we'll get 2.68 being our final answer. Now part B says, Jenny works at Sammy's restaurant and is paid according to the rates in the following table. And it shows that Jenny's basic wage is $600 plus 90 cents for each customer that she serves. And it says in a week when Jenny serves an amount of customers, her weekly wage is given by the formula where WJ is Jenny's wage is equal to the $600 plus 90 cents and multiply by N. Part one now says determine Jenny's weekly wage if she served 230 customers. So from the formula, we know that the wage is equal to 600 plus 0 0.9 multiplied by n so they're asking us to calculate what is the ways that jenny would take home if she served 230 customers and what we know is that from this formula the variable that represents customers is n so it will be substituting n for 230 so what we'll have is 600 plus 0 0.9 multiply by 230 very good the answer is indeed 807 so therefore the wage is equal to 600 plus and when we do work out in the bracket of 0 0.9 multiply by 230 what you'll get is 207 so therefore jenny's wage is equal to 600 plus 207 and when you work that 
indeed you will get eight hundred and seven dollars and that is our answer which is jenny's wage part two now says in a good week jenny's wage is one thousand dollars or more what is the least number of customer that jenny must serve in order to have a good week so from the formula again we know that wage is equal to six hundred dollars plus the 90 cents multiplied by n where n is representative of the amount of customers in part one they gave us the amount of customers that she served now we're going to calculate how many customers it will take for jenny to go home with at least a thousand dollars so what we'll do is now substitute wage for one thousand dollars and that is equal to 600 plus 0 0.9 multiplied by n we're now going to take the 600 from the right hand side of the equation to the left hand side it was adding on the right hand side so when it goes across the equal sign it will be subtracting so what we'll have is 1000 minus 600 is equal to 0 0.90 n and 1000 minus 600 will leave us with $400 is equal to 0 0.90 n and now we're going to solve for n and we're basically now dividing both sides of the equation by 0 0.9 which is the same as saying the 0 0.9 was multiplying on the right hand side of the equation. So when it comes across the equal sign, it will be dividing. So what we'll have is 400 divided by 0 0.9 is equal to N. And when you do that working, what you'll get is 400, 444, 0.44 is equal to n but we know that we can have a decimal amount of persons so therefore we'll round this off to the nearest old number that will make ensure that jenny goes home with at least one thousand dollars for a wage so therefore we're going to say it will take at least 445 persons for Jenny to go home with at least $1,000. So it will take 445 persons for Jenny to go home with at least one thousand dollars part three now says at the same restaurant so sir suppose we said 400 400 would we have gotten it incorrect yes you yes you would have as i was saying remember the formula all right so now let's say we know that it is 440 let's say we work out customers to be 444 now put 444 into your formula substitute 440 n for 444 what you'll have is 0 0.9 multiplied by 444 and you'll get 399.6 then you add 600 and what you'll get is 999.6 therefore jenny would not have a good week and the criteria for the question is that we need to calculate what would have been the least number of customers that jenny must serve in order to have a good week and that is why we cannot use 444 because if we use 444 it would mean that jenny would not have a good week as she'll only be going home with 999 dollars and 60 cents so it's just now we format the value for n is should we now put it back into our formula to see if we'll have the least amount of wage that the question stated however if you input 
445 into your formula. So it should be 0 0.9 multiplied by 445. And then you add your 600. What you will get. What you'll get is $1,050, which means that this would consider and meet the criteria that Jenny would have a good week. And why you would even get it in court if you wrote the 444 is because this is a one mark question. So part three now says at the same restaurant, Shauna is paid a weekly wage of $270 plus $1.50 for each customer she served. So it's a if WS is Shauna's weekly wage in dollar, write a formula for calculating Shauna's weekly wage when she serves M amount of customers. So we're now writing a formula for Shauna that was similar to Jenny, Jenny's salary. So what it will be is W is equal to, but in this case, Shauna's basic salary is $270 plus Shauna get $1.50 for each customer that she serves, and we're calling that M. So we're just replicating the formula that was given above for Jenny's salary, which was W is equal to 600 plus 0 0.9 multiplied by N. So all we did here was to now generate the formula exactly. So writing the formula that would now serve in calculating Shauna's salary. And all, that's all you're doing for part three. Part four now says, in a certain week, Jenny and Shauna received the same wage for serving the same number of customers. How many customers did they each serve? So we have the formula for Jenny and we have the formula for Shauna. And if they both serve the same number of customers, meaning they're going on with the same amount of wage, it now means that both formula would be equal. So therefore, what we're saying is Jenny's wage is equal to Shana's wage. And we know that the formula for Jenny's wage, very good, that is it, Jenny's wage was 600 plus 0 0.9 zero n where n was the amount of customers and for shauna it was 270 plus 1.50 m where m in this case was the number of customers so the inference that we can draw is that n is equal to m which is equal to the number of customers so i am going going to use x to represent customers so therefore what i'm going to have what i'm going to have is 600 plus 0 0.90 x is equal to 270 plus 1.50 x and this is now any typical equation in algebra so basically what we're doing now is to solve for x so what i'm going to do is to put our numbers on one side of the equation and our x's on one side so i'll have 600 minus 270 the 270 was adding on the right hand side so when I take it across the equal sign, it will now be subtracting. That is 600 minus 270 is equal to 1.50x minus 0.90x. So the 0 0.90 was added on the left-hand side. So when it goes across to the right-hand side, it will now be subtracting. And I can now go ahead and work my equation and solve for x. So when I do 600 minus 270, what I'll get is 330 is equal to 1.5 minus 0 0.9, and what I'll have is 0 0.60x. And I can now go ahead and solve for x. So it will now be 330 
divided by 0 0.60 is equal to x. And when you put that in your calculator, you will get 550 being the number of customers that they both work. So that is correct. So therefore, x is equal to 550. So for both Jenny and Shauna to go home with the same wage, they would each have to serve 550 customers. And this is the end of question one.